Mrs. Victor? That's right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Nan Victor. Happy birthday to Sign, Uncle Jim. Uncle Jim, isn't that sweet? I haven't seen him for years. Thank you very much. Thank that you. was very nice. Me, <laughs> Uncle Jim, happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. Now, where could Bob have hidden that present? He always puts it in here under the couch. I bet you he found out I knew where it was, and he put it in another place. He must have hit it. He never forgets my birthday. Right, good morning, Nan. Good, good morning, sweetheart. Good morning, good morning, morning, darling. What a beautiful day, and come and see what a perfectly oh. gorgeous table I've set for our lovely breakfast it's that I'm going to fix for us this morning. And, darling, I've got everything set up just the way you like it. I have the funny papers on top just the way you like to read oh, the papers. Sure. Because I thought that this is such a lovely day that you and I could have a very, very perfectly gorgeous, beautiful Sunday together because it's such a lovely day, and it's kind of special, and I just, just you know, thought maybe we could have a... Very nice kind of a... Oh, Peter Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Rabbit. I'll go fix breakfast, dear. Yes. He forgot. No, I didn't. <laughs> I'll get it, man. Hey! Happy birthday to you. Wait, 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 where's the birthday girl? She's in the kitchen. Oh, come on, Alice, let's go out and see how much older she looks. <laughs> oh, uh, got a couple of presents, I see. Yeah, I bought a little bottle of perfume. <coughs> yeah, we got her a box of candy. Yeah. I got her, uh, one of these. Hey. One of those? What is that? Hey, what is that, a check? No, it's not a check. A bond. No, it's not a bond. A hat. No, how could what a hat? Wear a hat. Oh, gee, Bob, you know what the girls wear now. Never mind. What well, what is it? It's a song. A what? I wrote her a song for her birthday. A song to sing? That's right. I, I mean, I just thought, well, instead of getting an ordinary present or anything like that, I thought I'd write her a song, you know, something novel, you know? That's a very novel way to save money, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Now, wait a minute. I didn't do it to save money. I worked the whole week on this song, you understand? Mm. I just finished it this morning. I mean, I just wanted to, you know, I just thought it'd be different to give us something from here, you know? Bob, a woman doesn't want something from here. They want something from here. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Bob. Y you know what they say, music soothes the savage beast, but not on her birthday. A woman wants a present she can wear, not something she can hum. You mean... An this will look cheap, huh? Well, wow. it's nice to give if you're giving it with something else. But even Mozart on his wife's birthday would bring her a little something. Yeah, a little something. <laughs> even Mozart would sure. bring her something. Sure. Something. But just give her a song and look cheap, huh? It would to me. I'm afraid so. Well, then I'll go downstairs. I'll get. I'll get some. No, it's Sunday. Oh boy. I got some. <laughs> you gotta get something. Fred. <laughs> Fred, you, you could have paid more than five dollars for this box of candy. I'll give you ten dollars. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I'll give you twenty dollars. Oh, no, no, no. Forty dollars. No, 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 no. Fifty dollars for the box no. of candy. Fifty dollars I'll give you for the box no, of candy. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Bob. I want to give her this myself. You understand. George, you know, I'm... My wife promised Nan perfume. She knows she's getting it. I can't give it to you. I've got to get something. I'm in trouble. I don't know what I'm going to do. Here's my birthday, girl. I don't know what... Listen, she doesn't look a day over 16. <laughs> Men, attention. Present. Get. Front and center. Oh, my Me? Okay. Present. And. Happy birthday. Oh, <laughs> oh, George, bless your heart. Oh, how sweet. Hope oh, you like it, Nan. Thank you, darling. Oh. Nan, happy birthday. Ah, <laughs> oh, Fred. Thank you, honey, Alice. Thank you. Happy That's birthday, so darling. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, 
boy, a boy. <laughs> Nan, man does not live on presence alone. Uh, here he goes. He has but for the iniquity of a bold weevil that is watching Everett Boss love. You didn't it, buy me a present. Well, I, uh... No, I bought you a present. Uh, of course I bought you a present. <laughs> uh, tell her, tell her the present I got for her, uh, George. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 he wanted to get you something a little different this year. Yeah, I'll different. get you something a little different. Yeah, so he's gonna, you know what he's gonna do? He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna take you to a restaurant. A restaurant? No, 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 no. not a restaurant, a nightclub, a nightclub. That's right, a nightclub, yeah. 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 The, the most expensive nightclub in town. Yeah, the most yeah, that's expensive, right. that's right. yeah. And to make it a big party, he's invited us all and he's gonna foot the whole bill. <laughs> Here's to an evening of frivolity, jollity, and poverty. <laughs> Excuse me. One moment, please. Darling, the, the, the place looks a little crowded. Don't you, don't you think we should have made a reservation or something? Oh, don't worry, dear. <laughs> Everything's all arranged. Oh, <laughs> boy. No, no, absolutely not, Senator. There isn't a table available tonight. The Senator. Absolutely, okay. Senator. I'm sorry, Senator. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> yes, sir? I, I beg you. Pardon, pardon. Excuse me, yeah. please. Oh, oh, yes, Your Excellency. Your Excellency. No, Your Excellency. Oh, no, Your Excellency. Neatly filled up. Not a table to be had, Your Excellency. Yeah. Good night, Your Excellency. Yes, sir? I wonder if you might have a ringside table for six. <laughs> there isn't a thing available. Oh, excuse me. What's the matter, Bob? Hello. Hello. They're awful that this excellence is calling up senators and then nothing. He's trying to impress you, Bob. Give him a little uh, something. Money? Shh. I'll give him a bill, huh? <laughs> no change. Just give him a bill, huh? There we are. Fiver. Ought to do it. <laughs> Uh, I beg your pardon. Yes, sir? That was quick, wasn't it? Uh, I'd like to have a table for uh, six ringside. There isn't a thing available, sir. You're kidding, aren't you? But excuse me, sir. Oh, this is a very expensive place. I just gave him five. That's not enough. It's a very expensive. Give him a little more. A little more? Sure. Give him a little more. <laughs> uh, I beg your pardon, but uh, he's very good at that, isn't he? Very good. Yes, sir? I, uh, I'd like to have a ringside table for, for six. <laughs> with all the money. Yes, there. I'm sorry, sir. There's nothing at all. Excuse me. I'd sir. like to shake this man. <laughs> Look, Bob, he didn't hear it or see the money. Yeah. Let him see it. Let's let him see the money. There we are. There we are. There's a. Uh, how about there? He's very good. <laughs> yes, sir. I'd like a. Uh, you know, I'd like to see. And... Oh, you'd like a table. I already bought the table. I'd like to see some chairs now. <laughs> good. Sir. Yes, Felix. Yes, Felix, a table for six, please. Ringside. Right. 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 This way. Sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Oh, honey, this is wonderful. Right at the ringside. Oh, I oh, told you. That's all. All you gotta do is open your pocket and talk. <laughs> right, sit down, sweetheart. Yes, I will. <laughs> Bob, gotta please sit down. <laughs> Well, put your matches in your pocket. Don't worry. It's very expensive. <laughs> this is going to be the happiest night of my life. Oh, that's all right, honey. Everything for you. Here you are, sir. Your check. Would you like to sign it? No, we just had cheese sandwiches and coffee. I'll pay you. they have over there? Uh, cheese sandwiches. <laughs> cheese sandwiches? <laughs> Are there a thousand? <laughs> uh, well, it must have been imported cheese, huh? American. <laughs> South American. No, just plain old cheese. <laughs> oh, it was old cheese. I see. Gotta <laughs> <laughs> give him a talking chip. Thank you, huh? <laughs> Look, from now on, don't talk to the waiters here. It's very expensive. <laughs> Come on, sweetheart. Let's look at the menu. I can't wait yeah, for it. Yeah, let's look at that. There we are. 
$27.95. Baked potatoes, $6. With butter, $12. Salt, $4.50. That's a good buy. It's all on a salt. <laughs> Look, it's getting kind of late. Why don't we all go home and hit the hack? Huh? Oh, oh, honey, sit down and stop drowning. Yeah, I'm drowning. I'm not sitting down. George. George, can you let me have a couple of bucks? I don't think I have enough money to pay this check. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, what? Thank you, well. Darling, I'm so happy. I'm so happy and I'm so hungry. Yes. I'm so hungry. Listen, why don't we all have something very, very exotic? It's a special night, you know. Yes. After all, it is my birthday. Uh, but it's Madame's birthday? That's right. Well, why don't you leave the ordering to me? This is oh. a wonderful idea. Well, open your big mouth. <laughs> I'm so thrilled. I don't think you could buy anything like this for a thousand dollars. Oh, you could just about make it, I think. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Troca Plant. Here is our singing sensation, Judy Tyler. the star of our show, Henny Youngman. A year ago, I couldn't dance. I used to sing in a choir. One year, 400 people changed their religion. A <laughs> funny thing happened on the way here tonight. I showed up. <laughs> we got people tonight. You should have been there last night. Somebody should have been there. <laughs> I don't want to say business is bad. The door and I got locked up for loitering. <laughs> One man walked in, he said to the boss, give me a change of $20, and made him a partner. <laughs> I was a little late getting here, they wanted me to fly here, but I don't fly on account of my religion. I'm a devout coward. <laughs> <laughs> They'll never get me up on a plane. I get dizzy when I send an airmail letter. <laughs> I don't know for nothing. I was standing at the bar tonight, I found a man's hand in my pocket. I said, what do you want? He said, I want a match. I said, why don't you ask for it? He said, I don't talk to strangers. <laughs> Man fell out of a 10-story window. He's lying on the ground with a big crowd around him. The cop walked over. He said, what happened? He said, I don't know. I just got here. <laughs> <laughs> Two women met. One said to the other, what did you do to your hair? It looks horrible. It looks like a wig. She says, it is a wig. You know you can never tell? <laughs> People are mixed up. I'm mixed up myself. I went to a psychiatrist. He said, lay down, tell me everything. I did. Last week, he was on television doing my act. <laughs> Everybody 
bothers me. They think I have money. Maybe it's because I have. One fellow walked up. He says, give me $10 till payday. I said, when is payday? He said, you ought to know. You're the one that's working. <laughs> Not so good. Another fellow walked up. He said, mister, I haven't had a bite all day. <laughs> so he bit a bite all day. <laughs> The life of the party guy, eh? Oh, this boy, I want to tell you, you tell those jokes pretty good, too, yourself. Hey, you know you'd make a perfect stranger. <laughs> if you had your life to live over again, don't do it. <laughs> Say, is this your husband, lady? Yes, it is. Well, things are rough all over. What are you going to do? <laughs> you want to match wits with me, I'll check mine and we'll start even. I want to tell you, I've seen things happen. What's going on here tonight, incidentally? Well, it's my wife's birthday, so I threw a little party. Oh, that's very nice. What did you get her for a gift? Well, I, 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 actually, I, I wrote her a song for her birthday. He wrote her a song? <laughs> I write songs myself. Nobody sings them, but I write them. That's a big deal. You wrote her a song. How about the gift? No gift? No, I, I wrote her a song for the birthday. Oh, you got the song with you, huh? Yes, I, I Naturally, I, I, I knew you'd have the song with you. How about standing up here? Would you like to hear her sing the song? Stand right up here. Stand right out there. So I, I don't want to. Say, where do you have your hair cut? In the pet shop? No. <laughs> That's a nice suit you have on. It's beautiful. I'd have it cleaned and burned if I were you. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. Nice suit. Who makes your stains? I'll do all the jokes on you tonight. How would you like to hear this boy sing a song, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> all right. You don't have to be best. So what's the name of this thing? Oh, Son of Shaboom. That's going to be a big hit. <laughs> okay, now sing it, and I want you to listen to him right now. Here we are, kids. Play this music for the boy, will it? Actually, Nan, I, I did write it for your birthday, but George and Fred said it would look kind of cheap if I just gave you just a song. So, uh, actually, I, I did write it, and I didn't want to just give you the song, so I took you out so it wouldn't look cheap, you know? And uh, I don't, I'll, I'll sing it for you right now. I can't sing it tonight, though, would you? Yeah. <laughs> I wrote you a song for your birthday. I wrote it because I want you to know that I couldn't buy anything real to show. I wrote it because I want you to know that I still recall this day.
Well, I want to tell you, I, I, I just feel so bad. I didn't mean to heckle you or belittle you. I thought that was really beautiful. How do you folks like it? Was it wonderful? I want to tell you a real sport, and I want to tell you what I'm going to do for you now. Waiter, give me that check over here, will you, please? I'm going to pay for it tonight, and I really mean it. Really, Thank Mr. You so Young? Much. Yeah, I want you kids to have a wonderful time, and congratulations. A little later on, I'll send you a little gift. Everything's taken care of. Thank you you don't have to worry much. about a tip or anything. Thank you very I much. will take care of everything. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Good night. Good luck. Thank Wasn't you that nice of you? $229. <laughs> for what? What for? They're eating uranium here? Yeah.